Good afternoon. My name is Tom Brinsonhoff, certified master tech out of Reading, PA. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to turn on a, turn on a radiator. Uh, unfortunately, there is no way to turn on a radiator. Um, there is a fan that con that's computer controlled. That can be turned on and off, but um, like I said, it, it is computer controlled. If for some reason on your vehicle it does not turn on, um, the easiest way I can tell you to check it would be um, find locate your fuse panel pull this open. They're usually pretty much indicated on the inside as to which relay is controlled by the fan, um, which relay controls the fan and also the fuse that also is associated with it. If you read your, your panel here it'll tell you. Um, we'll just say typically this 20 amp fuse is usually a highly rated fuse. You want to pull this out just make sure it's not blown and you just want to look at the bridge on the inside and just make sure it's not separated. You'll be able to tell when you get a blown fuse and you pull it out. It, it's going to be charred in the middle and that little bridge going across the center is going to be broken. But if your fuse is okay, you know, stick that back in. Um, locate your, your relay. We'll just say this little bugger is your relay right here. Um, these should have power to them at all times. If you, if you had a, a test light, you could check down here. Um, but chances are nine times out of ten, your problem is going to be with your relay. Um, the easiest way to tell if you've got a relay problem with your fan is just take a relay sitting next to it. They'll have the same markings on it. 99% of the time when you have a vehicle that have more than one relay that's identical. Just take that relay out. Just swap it with one that's next to it. Sometimes they're a little bit of a pain. Stick that relay in and then uh, give her a whirl. The, the only thing I can tell you is the cooling fans, there's only two reasons they'd come on. Um, one is that the temperature would get over usually about 240 degrees. The second one would be the air conditioner. If you turn the air conditioner on, 90% of the time the cooling fan is going to come on um, intermittently every 30 seconds or so. Um, but that's the easy way to check and see if your fan actually does work. It's just to, to start the car up, turn your air conditioner on, let it run for a couple minutes. The fan comes on, you're, you're ready to go. If not, like I said, check the relays, check your fuse. Other than that, uh, if it, both those two are okay, then I would look at your fan and, and make sure that the motor's not burned up or something like that. But that's the easy way I could tell if your uh, radiator's turned on or not.